Could I look any more Irishy right now? I think I can. Hello! Today we are trying Irish food. Trying Irish food has been on my bucket list for a long time. We have a lot of Irish in our heritage, so it just makes sense. The other day I went to the library and searched the cookbook section, and it took me forever to find the one Irish cookbook that they had. It was real hidden, tucked away, but I found it. And I got it, and I brought it home, and now we shall try the foods from it. This is the first recipe we're doing. It's fish and chips, which might be a little more English than Irish, but it's in the book. So we're making it. You can't have an Irish meal without potatoes. Right? Do the potatoes in, and which one should we do the fries in? Why don't we just do something about both? Get all the potatoes done, and then do all the fish? Yeah. You can pour some in that one, and then this one's going to be some more too. Okay. I've used that one to fry something before, probably french fries. So we're supposed to cut these in big wedges, right? These fries are supposed to be big. Fries, uh, I'm guessing. Do the instructions say anything in particular? It says, cut them into thick fries. Yes. So I guess they have to be I like smaller fries personally, but we got to try the the way in the book. Yeah, that's me. I like smaller fries, but we'll go with the Irish way. Okay. See what the ingredients are for the batter. We'll be getting this out. Let's see. Flour, baking soda, salt, water. That's it. It says, lime flour, baking soda, salt, and medium bowl, then slowly whisk in the water until a smooth paste is formed. Get you a whisk and whisk these dry ingredients together first, then slowly whisk that in until it's like a gravy like. That's what they mean. While it rests, take two quarts of oil to 330 degrees, a large deep heavy bottom pan with tall sides. Right, I there. think it's about there. Okay, let's see what happens. Come in. Come in, come in. Don't get it on my lips. Yeah, then we're going to make fish in both pots. Okay. Done. Say, get them brown. Fry for five minutes or until they start to brown. All right. Okay, we're there. They started boiling on the spoon. I know. It's sizzling. It doesn't say anything about salting them. Okay. Let me just go with a little experience for you and tell you if we don't but, salt them now, they're not going to be as good. Okay. This is they will stick to them. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put salt on because I don't think... I don't think we'll like them without salt. If we don't salt them now, the salt won't stick. So. Yeah, this is our American touch. Surely they salt them in Ireland too, <laughs> but they didn't tell us to. Yeah. So we got wild caught fish at the supermarket. The fishmonger was really awesome with us. Mm -hmm. That's the way he folded this up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? We should cut it down the middle and do this side and this side? Yeah, that'll be good. Cause we got flounder. Yeah, because it just said white fish. This is what we're having tonight, eh? Fish and chips. Awesome. Hey, 
Can I have a chip? I guess you can have a chip. See, this fish has some bone right there. Bone. I don't want to eat bone. No. What is this, the batter? That's the batter for the fish. What's in it? Uh, salt, baking soda, and flour, and water. Look. I think we're supposed to be letting it rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm asked. Please leave the kitchen. Part is to put out the fire. Is it coming Just, down fairly fast? What did you say it was? It was on three. It was it was four hundred three ninety one. Well, what was it? I'm guessing it was over four hundred. Okay, so it is coming down. It is coming down. Let's you know said it. I shouldn't. <laughs> this is going to be on camera. <laughs> it needs to clean itself up a bit. See, it doesn't need to get in my food though. <laughs> it's going to get in your food. It's, you're dusting it. Oh, wow. Dipping. Feels too thick to me, but gross. <laughs> Is it supposed to be this thick? Uh, it's yeah. probably fine. Wait. They look really good. They're really they do tucky. look very good. Yay, dinner. Dinner. We they're did all, it. They're all the same color. So we found out you're actually supposed to cook the chips twice. And that's why I didn't safe salt them the first time because they salted them the second time. But we cooked them enough the first time we did it, so we're just gonna skip the step of cooking them a second time. What do you think? It's okay. It's okay. It'd be better if they were crispy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think they look close? Together. I think the fish looks perfect. Mm -hmm. I think their fries weren't cooked twice in 330 degree oil because they don't even look brown, do they? <laughs> Our fries look right, but they don't taste crispy. Mm -hmm. I wonder if theirs are crispy and don't look brown. <laughs> but I think our fish is perfect. Mm -hmm. This one has some more bumps than this one does. It does. All right, who all wants some? Hot. 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 Hot.
says, what we're going to do is take the meat out and cook the onions and carrots and thyme. Okay. And then we're going to make it like a little, what I call gravy, but I think the technical term is roux, with butter and flour and paste. See how much paste it says use. And then stir it all back together and put it in this pan. At this moment, what do you estimate your rating of it will be? Well, it's smelling really good. And it's looking, it's got good ingredients in it, so I'm thinking it's going to be really yummy. But I think it looks good. What do you think? I think I might end up giving it a five or something. <laughs> Out of ten? Yeah. You don't like what's going in it? Yeah, I don't, they're not my favorite foods going in it, and I think it's going to be the kind of things that I don't really like that much. I'm hoping so, that the things we don't like are hidden enough into it yeah. that we don't notice them, maybe. Yeah, I think that's probably going to happen. Oh, I sloshed out a little bit. Yeah, it happens. This is clever. Eat them together and see the taste track. I'll be hot. Can I see you? Give me a try. I'm down here. <laughs> We're down here. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes okay. It's not good. It's, it's not your favorite. It's not my favorite, but it's not a five, though. But yeah. it's better than a five. Oh, we were supposed to put some of this in there, huh? When we did the beef broth. Did it say how much? I don't think so. I don't have the flavor. Yeah, that smells good. It does smell good. It goes great with beef and lamb. They really like Worcestershire sauce. I'm not seeing that right. Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now it says you can stir in peas. Do you want peas in it? No. Okay. Let's leave out peas. Stir in peas. Let's get that. Do we even have peas? I think we do have peas. Don't want them. Turn the meat into the prepared dish and spoon the potatoes on top. I like how the other day we were like, we need to make it according to the recipe, and today we're like, no, we're gonna make it in a way. Like we like it. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. I can't see anything but the bag of the paint. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Now we're gonna spoon this. This is tricky. We're going to do is get spoons and kind of put a spoonful ever so often and then we're going to smooth it out. Okay. Can you handle it? That oh, sounds so there. hard. Now you take this thing and you kind of press in and slide and you see how I'm moving when the bottom starts to move I come back like you're putting on cake icing. It's a little delicate but you'll get the hang of it. Here it is. How long does it say to cook? Uh, sure. Looks about even. Yeah. Brown it a little more or like that? I think like that. 
Here is the final product. Yay! Here it is, the shepherd's pie. Taste test time. Taste test. Hot. Is it hot? Whoa, did you burn yourself? No. Very good. Well, it is good. Especially if you like meat and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Definitely a meat and potato dish. And I'm a big potato person. Yeah. I like baked potatoes. I'm not a real mashed potato person. I give it a six and a half out of ten. That's what we go in for another bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to give it a seven and a half. It's pretty okay. Awesome. Yay! Here's our recipe. Mustard roasted chicken. And we're gonna mix up the coarse ground mustard, salt, pepper, fresh parsley, whiskey, and butter. Okay, there's butter on the bottom of the pan and the chicken is skin side down. I'm gonna put some salt on it and some pepper and some olive oil. We'll flip them over to the other side. The parsley right off of this parsley pan on our deck. Washed it and dried it. Chopped it up. The whiskey in the bowl and I'm gonna add the parsley to it. A third cup of mustard. Okay, adding the coarse mustard to the whiskey and parsley. Ooh, it smells good. And then we're gonna flip this chicken over so that it is skin side up. Salt and pepper and olive oil. And then we're going to add Okay, we've got it all, the topping on. I'm going to put the temperature probe in the largest one and set it in to cook. Okay, it did say to cover it with tin foil, so we have done that. The probe is still in, and we'll see you in 30 minutes. That's all we have for you today. I would say that this was a pretty successful experiment. We enjoyed most of the foods that we ate. We tried a few more other than just the three that you saw too, and they were pretty good. We actually liked them so much that we went and got our own copy of the cookbook. So we can take this back to the library now. It's definitely overdue, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to do this to it and hit the little red rectangular button that says subscribe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. Rah!